Our top story tonight. If you haven't double checked that your car is locked before you came inside tonight, you might want to. Car thefts have been on the rise in Hinesville over the past few months. Police mm. still searching for the larger cause. And WSAV's Christine Quayley spoke to police about the rise in crime. A significant uptick in car break-ins in the city of Hinesville, ones that police tell us have led to stolen weapons that are being used to commit other crimes. I mean, there's been a lot of guns stolen. There's been a lot of wallets and money stolen um, and a lot of other uh, items of value. About 50 cases of car theft just in the month of October and the first half of November in Hinesville. That's about double the amount in the city this time last year. And it's not just a problem because victims will miss their stolen items. Hinesville is a military community. And we've had a couple uh, situations where, you know, a soldier leaves their military um, equipment, uh, which is just personal equipment uh, in their vehicle. So they're ready for, you know, work the next day and and uh, the vehicle is not secure. But police say civilians have had guns stolen from their cars too. Most guns that are involved in homicides that aren't domestic related homicides uh, are, are weapons that are illegally obtained. Mostly they are stolen. And that was the case in the most recent arrest made by Hinesville police in the string of car thefts. Jaquan Clemens was arrested for obstruction and possession of a stolen firearm. Police linked him to the car theft because he was allegedly using the stolen gun for a different crime. Chief Howard tells me most of those who have been arrested in connection to car thefts are under 18. We're still putting a lot of the pieces together with the recent arrest, um, so that, that will probably be an ongoing uh, determination uh, as to whether or not, you know, it was linked to some organized crime. The thefts are happening all over the city, though, not isolated to one specific neighborhood, but they do have one thing in common. The vehicles that were broken into, but that's not the, uh, the trend. Uh, those, those are only have occurred in rare occasions now because so many people leave their vehicles unlocked, unfortunately. The main thing police tell us you can do to prevent being a victim of theft from your car is to always lock it and, of course, bring your valuables inside. Reporting in Hinesville, Christine Quayley, WSAV News 3, on your side.